welcome to my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to play your own content on the Oculus Gear VR system. Now, some people say that this can work within the Oculus app application itself, but for me, this never worked. Um, you can play certain uh, parts of your own content through it, but it really wasn't uh, ideal, and it also didn't seem to have the uh, kind of quality it seemed to be quite pixelated when I did try this. Okay, so I'm going to run through this guide. First of all, before we start, you will need to download two applications Package Disabler Pro and also VR Player Free. Okay, I'm going to explain what these do. Uh, the links for these applications will be in the description below. Um, so please refer to those if you uh, struggle to find them. You can also find these on the Play Store just by typing them in and the logos should match up as what you can see here. Another step that we're going to do is we're going to enable app pinning. Okay, and I'll explain a bit more about that later on as well. Okay, so go ahead, download those two applications, pause the video if you need to, come back once you have them. We're going to start off with what to do with Package Disabler Pro. So go ahead and open this application up and it should look like the image on the right hand side on your Galaxy system. In the search packages section type the word gear and press next and when you do this you should see that a list of applications or packages load up. Okay, Unticked ones are enabled, ticked ones are disabled you will need to disable the Gear VR service. What this essentially does is it stops the Oculus uh, system application from opening when you insert your phone into the headset. You'll notice at the moment, whenever you plug your Galaxy uh, or, or your Note into your Gear VR headset, it opens up another application completely you need to disable this from happening for your VR system to work correctly. Okay, if you want to use uh, the Oculus system, such as, you know, watch Netflix through there, which you can do, play the applications or the games that you can purchase through the Oculus store, or watch um, any of your own content in the theatre system that you may have seen if you've used this, you will need to just reverse these steps. Okay. So once you've done that, we're then going to explain app pinning. So if you are using your Galaxy or your Note in the headset, you'll notice without doing this, when you try and clip it in, a lot of the times it presses the home button. When it presses the home button, it takes you back to the very start. Okay, you don't want this to happen. When you pin an app, it basically means that nothing else can interfere with that app on the screen. So even if you press the home button, the application will remain there anyway. So to do this, go to settings. On the settings page, scroll to lock screen and security. Press that, scroll to the bottom until you get to other security settings. And once you're there, you'll need to go down to pin windows click through and turn that on. Now when you do this, what you will notice when you press the button or the soft key to the left of the home button that brings up your currently loaded up applications, you will find there's another button. Okay, Basically, that's your pin button. So when you go to open your VR player, the first thing you're going to want to do is press that recently used uh, application tab so that's the soft key to the left of the home button this will bring the screen up and you want to pin that application it will ask you a question of whether you want to proceed press yes and it will also tell you how to um, remove that back from the screen and the way you do that is you press back and recent at the same time so that's either soft key either side of the home button Okay, so if you forget that, you can refer back to this. Once you've enabled that, you can open up your VR player. Okay, this is what essentially you're going to watch your um, VR movies or 3D movies through instead of the Oculus system. 
couple of options. The option on the very right hand side, the three dots here, is where you're going to open your file from. So press that, scroll to open file, and navigate to where you've saved your VR movie that you want to watch. You want to open it from there. But once you've done that, you then need to tell the VR player what kind of format and what kind of projection you want to watch this on. Okay, so the L and the R that's here is for left and right 3D, or left and right VR. There's a few ways that um, your VR and 3D movies can be uh, saved. Left and right, where the image for your left eye is displayed on the left and the image for the right eye is on the right, but there's also top and bottom, where as a file itself, your um, your left eye is on the top and your right eye is on the bottom. If you tell the uh, VR player that you're watching one of them type of movies, it basically just corrects it for, for this system. So have a look at your raw file uh, when you're doing this. The majority of your files are left-right. Okay. Also, you've got your 2D movies as well that you can watch through here. You really won't be watching it through a... Um, through a headset. If you press 2D you'll see that um, your original source um, plays instead where it's, it's just a single screen. Once you've done that you've then got your projection. So you've got a few options for your projection but essentially the projection itself is how the movie is filmed. So a plane is like a flat TV screen. So your 3D movies that are filmed in simple 3D you're going to watch on a plane because that's how they was initially filmed. That was the intention of the of the director of the film. But something that's in 3D, be this 180 or 360, the intention is that you have that field of view. 360, you can turn around and look and things. That would be, in the most case, dome or full dome. Okay, you need to play around with this. I'm not sure why you'd ever use sphere, cube and cylinder, but for your VR movies you would usually use dome or full dome. But have a bit of a play around and see what works best. Once you've got these up and running, so let's say most commonly if you're watching a, um, a 3D VR film you're going to be using 3D side by side as your format, pop it onto dome and then close your um, oculus headset your phone into your Oculus headset, you should then be able to watch that film. Okay? One or two limitations when you have the headset on, you can't control whereabouts in the movie you are. Okay? So, to actually, if you want to skip to a certain part of a film or anything, you're going to have to take, uh, basically, open up the headset and move that with your finger. Okay? And you may see that you get a bit of drift as well in. Um, when you're watching your VR films, but these are limitations that are with this system at the moment. This basically turns it into to, to, to a, a Google car, Cardboard kind of system. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments section. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.